Hello everyone, I'm Jensen, your digital content producer. It is Wednesday, September 2nd, and I'm about to get you all caught up on today's top headlines. And today, I'm doing it outside because it's a beautiful day and who doesn't love a breath of fresh air? But tonight, we're gonna talk a little bit about voting in Ohio, and the debates are coming up later this month, so I'll give you a little sneak peek at those. But before I do any of that, let me get you up to speed on the latest coronavirus data. Today, there have been 1,157 new cases of coronavirus, and that is above the 21-day average of 1,025. But coronavirus-related deaths are down today, with 11 reported since yesterday, compared to 21 for that average. Hospitalizations are up a bit, with 95 since yesterday, compared to 80. And ICU admissions continue to stick around the average, with 14 compared to 13. And the Toledo Lucas County Health Department had a press conference today echoing the governor's call to stay safe and avoid large gatherings this Labor Day weekend. Now, officials are already expecting case numbers to rise after the holiday, but they want us all to know that taking those extra precautions like social distancing, avoiding crowds, washing hands, all of those we've been hearing about for months now, those are all critical to keeping schools open and preventing other events from getting canceled here in the near future. But there are some major concerns. Contact tracers are apparently seeing more people venturing out when they're sick. People that are going to work and they know they're sick or they might be positive. It's important to just stay home if you or your kids are sick. And the health department has reportedly seen a recurring issue at a number of schools with parents sending their kids to sports practice or to the classroom with coronavirus symptoms. And the health commissioner, Eric Jajinski, says that bringing the virus into school or onto a team will impact that sport and that classroom. And a lot of area school districts have pushed back start dates, hoping case numbers would improve. And while we haven't gotten worse, we haven't really improved all that much either. Dujinski said at this point, we're at a bit of a plateau. So the health department is going to beef up on contact tracers, especially as even more schools start to go back. And not only are leaders worried about coronavirus this weekend, but they're really cracking down on gun violence as well. Toledo police officers will be joined by U.S. Marshals as well as FBI, DEA, and ATF agents to enhance police presence over the holiday with the main focus on illegal gun possession, an issue that they're not taking lightly. Uh, if you are not allowed to possess a firearm under federal law, you are in the red zone. And if you possess a firearm this weekend, we are going to stop you. We are going to find you, we are going to prosecute you, and you will be prosecuted in federal court. Toledo Police Chief George Cross said Toledoans could expect to see many more marked police cars as well as undercover and plainclothes cops. The increased effort isn't due to a specific threat, but because violent crime, like in much of the country, is up here in Toledo. Cross said homicides and shootings are up with 68% and 54% respective increase compared to this time last year. And Chief Cross said the increase in focus on the issue won't fade away once the holiday weekend is over. Now, I don't want anybody to think that when Labor Day weekend's over, this is going to stop. That's not true. We're going to continue to double down on gun violence in the city. And you can watch that full press conference on our website, WTOL.com, or right here on our YouTube channel. And dogs and cats brought to the safety of the 419 from the devastation of Hurricane Laura need temporary homes, and you can help. If you want to take in a furry friend this weekend, you should reach out to the Lucas County Pit Crew. The Pit Crew is making sure these adorable pups and kittens are safe and cared for until they can find a permanent home. And they'll provide you with everything you need to foster, including medical care. So if you want to get involved, send an email to k9advocate1 at yahoo.com. And again, that information is on our website if you need it as well. And I've mentioned this before, but in case you missed it, Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose is sending out absentee ballot request forms to every registered voter in the state. And these forms are expected to arrive in our mailboxes this week, which is actually a week ahead of schedule. So kudos. So again, Ohioans who want to vote by using an absentee ballot must send the request form back to their county board of elections by mail or by dropping it in the county's drop box. Then they'll be sent an absentee ballot, which they can then return the same way. Now, these request forms are recommended to be submitted ASAP, but no later than Tuesday, October 27th. Two more rounds of absentee ballots will be mailed out to Ohioans who register to vote now through October 5th, which is the deadline to register to vote. And if you still need to register, that's no problem. We have a link to do that on our website as well, which is again, WTOL.com. And I'll have even more details on all the different ways you can vote in this election, how to do so, uh, where you can find links and deadlines, all of that 
on my video Friday. So make sure you tune into that if you have any questions going into the election in November. And while we're on the topic of the election, let's talk about the presidential debates. See, these transitions are just getting better and better. For now, let's just focus on the first round. And the debates kick off right here in Ohio, so how exciting. Presidential candidates will first share the stage on Tuesday, September 29th at Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland. Fox News Sunday anchor Chris Wallace will moderate that debate. And in addition to the presidential nominees facing off, Vice President Mike Pence and Senator Kamala Harris will go head to head in one debate a week later. The debates will also be carried on all major networks from 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. commercial free. So get ready for that later this month. And that is all I have for you today. For more on your top headlines, make sure you check us out nightly at 5, 6, and 11 on channel 11, of course. And for more of these updates, make sure you like the video and you hit subscribe to the channel. You'll get a little alert to your phone whenever I pop on here. But with all of that being said, I hope you have a very happy Wednesday.